Hey guys, even here, and as you know, we are a couple of days out of Arnold Classic, and we got a couple of updates. First, we're gonna see what Nick Walker looks like, so he posted this photo and a little video as well, and a couple of other photos, we're gonna go through them, and these are basically a couple of days out, so he's in the midst of his peak week, so he's half dehydrated, and he's probably completely flat. Now, I don't know what his approach is, but usually guys carb up for the last two days, sometimes three days, sometimes even one day, but there are approaches, there are protocols where you carb up slowly for the last week, a little bit every day, but I don't think that's his approach, I think he's gonna carb... But I don't think that's his approach, I'm pretty sure he's gonna start his carb up today or tomorrow, so at this point, Nick Walker is probably looking the worst, he's gonna look this week and yet he's looking pretty freaking awesome like you can see that he is very very lean i don't think he ever brought this kind of conditioning to the stage so far and you're gonna see his glutes you're gonna see his back in a second but before we get to those let's take a look at this photo for a second longer so this photo i think this this one is showing all of his weaknesses really so it's taken from an angle and you can see that his midsection is pretty large so from the front, this definitely looks much better, however, he's probably proud of himself because his stomach is actually looking flat from this angle, but still, it's definitely his biggest weakness. And also, you can see his chest, that is also his weakness, and only guys with super massive chest look good, actually, their chest looks good in this pose when they lift their arms up. So right here, Nick is showing us his two biggest weaknesses, but he probably saw progress, he felt proud of it, as he should be, his stomach is looking pretty flat for somebody who is known for having a thick waistline. Now let me show you another photo, in this one he definitely does look much more impressive, because in this one you can't see his chest nor his midsection, and his back... It was kind of like a weaker body part for him, I think, two years ago or last year, but since this Mr. Olympia 2022, it's not a weak body part, not by any means. His his back is actually very good right now. It has a lot of width and his, actu his waist actually looks very small from behind. And the main thing here, aside from his crazy shoulders and arms and insane freaking hamstrings and doctors and like legs from behind, everything really is super impressive in this pose, but like the main thing that I'm noticing are his glutes. So at this point, a couple of days before the Arnold Classic, his glutes are already shredded. He doesn't even need to get completely dehydrated to show glute striations, so if he has glute separation already at this point, that means that he's seriously super super lean, and based on all I'm seeing, it looks like Nick is bringing his absolute best conditioning of all time. Here is another photo that he posted, I think a day or two ago, and also you can see right here, like there is no fat left on his glutes, like... This guy is shredded, shredded, peeled, and once he gets completely dehydrated and he carbs up, he's gonna look even tighter, fuller, bigger, harder, tighter, drier, so I can't imagine what he's gonna look like, but it's gonna be very hard to beat him, no matter who you are, and take a look at this freaking video, like here you can see the actual conditioning and the muscularity, and the hardness, the, 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 the freak factor that he is bringing, it's absolutely insane. So what this looks like, look at this, guys. I mean, this is, this is ridiculous. And here you can see the waistline, so that's like the only weakness. And I don't know how much can it really affect his placement, because everything else is just super freaking impressive. It's gonna be really hard to beat this guy. I know in my prediction video I have Andrew Jack winning this show. But if I was a batting man, if I had to put my money where my mouth is, I would put my money on, on Nick Walker, because we all know he is the heavy favorite. I just have a feeling, a gut feeling, a hunch, that Andrew is gonna bring something special. And he better bring something special if he wants to beat Nick Walker, because that's what it's gonna take. Andrew needs to bring something ridiculous, because what you're seeing right here is freaking insane, like, it, it's extraordinary, this kind of physique can win the Mr. Olympia, let alone Arnold Classic. Yes, Andrew Jack has better looking waistline, but that's not gonna be enough, that's not gonna do it, he needs to bring crazy muscularity and conditioning and hardness and fullness and roundness, if he wants to defeat this freaking monster right here.
and the fact that he is posting this many photos and I remember him posting a lot of selfies even before in the prep but I don't remember him looking this good ever like this dry, this conditioned and I don't think his stomach ever looked this good like look at it, look at the waistline right here look at the midsection like he's controlling it super super well that you can't even know if you didn't know you wouldn't notice in the most of his photos that he actually has a thick waistline so if he controls it and i'm sure he will control it really really well on that stage it's gonna be really freaking hard to beat him because there aren't many chinks in his armor and one of them might be that stomach but look at it here like look at it from the front uh, this photo is just incredible you can see that he's flat you can definitely see that his chest needs carbs, that his overall physique is flat, he is definitely not carbed up, but he is shredded, man. He is really freaking shredded. Like, look at the quality of the muscle, look at the separation everywhere, and look at the dryness, the conditioning, like, he is peeled. And also, he is really freaking big, he is really massive. I mean, his overall mass of his entire body, like, shoulders, arms, back, legs... It's, it's insane, it's ridiculous, it's one of, he's one of the biggest guys of all time, really, I mean pound for pound, he's not the tallest guy, but on his frame he packs so much quality, muscle, I mean look at his photo man, look at this, this looks absolutely insane, ridiculous, so again it's gonna be really tough for anybody to beat him. Nick Walker is probably gonna be, you know, second or first, and this guy is on the opposite end of the spectrum, in my opinion, he's gonna be either the last or uh, one before last, but again, looking at these photos, I, I'm really not sure what to make of it, because as you can see right here, he looks pretty big, and as far as conditioning, I think his conditioning was just the way it is right here, like two or three weeks out, so I thought he's gonna bring something super shredded, considering how shredded he was at three weeks out, however, his conditioning didn't really change that much. So Patrick Moore says in the caption, uh, he puts quotes and he says he's bigger, so his waist definitely grew. So what he is trying to say here, he is obviously being sarcastic, he is saying that he grew, that he is bigger, but his waistline stayed the same. And as you can see, like his forearms and his arms are looking insanely big his arms look as big as his waist literally like look at the size of that waist and look at the size of that arm from the side so he definitely does look bigger but i was kind of hoping he's gonna bring like crazy conditioning because i believe conditioning is what brought him that 10th place at the mr olympia 2019 like he wasn't the biggest guy not by any stretch he was the most, one of the most conditioned guys on that stage that year, and one of the guys, probably the guy with the best looking shape. Now, at this show, there are two other guys who have really beautiful, classic looking, aesthetic looking shape, and that's Samson Dauda and also Andrew Jacked. So, Patrick, he, I don't know if he has a smaller waist than these guys. I mean, if you talk about uh, the proportions, and as far as muscle bellies, I don't know, I don't like his legs, Patrick's legs, and like his uh, arms in the front double, and the way his body's flowing in the front double, but like overall, he's definitely on the aesthetic side, because of the small waist, he has zero bubble gut action going on, zero, like he's not that big to have bubble gut, so he's definitely on a more classic looking, aesthetic looking side, so he definitely does look bigger, but is he gonna be as big as the other guys? I don't think so. So he better bring crazy conditioning. Also in the caption here, he says that he's as flat as he can get at four days out. So he is very flat, which means once he carbs up, he's gonna look drier and harder and fuller and bigger. So he's gonna get better from this point for sure. And he does look very good right here. But like we're talking beating Justin Rodriguez and Akeem Williams and... Kamal El Gargni, I can see him beating Kamal, sure, like he's 51, 52 or something like that, and he's showing the signs of aging, but as far as beating beasts like Akeem Williams and Justin Rodriguez, let alone Big Ramy, you know, that's gonna require him being on his absolute best, his absolute A game, is he bringing that, 
I don't know. I really, I really don't know. I can't really make anything of these photos. But, I mean, I gotta say, based on this photo, he does look bigger than ever. And his conditioning looks decent. And considering that he is flat, he's probably gonna get drier and harder. So, it might be a really good package for Patrick Moore. Uh, do I have him placing higher than uh, 9th or 10th? Still, based on what I'm seeing, no. I think he's gonna be either last or he's gonna beat Kamal. But I hope he surprises me. I would love to see a crazy story with Patrick Moore. I hope he wins the show, honestly. But that's just my opinion based on what I'm seeing right now. I have him 9th or 10th. Whatever you guys think, you can tell me down below. Alright, the next story is something I found very interesting. It's an off-season update of Hunter Labrada and also an announcement. Which show he's gonna do next... And that's gonna be Tampa Pro and Texas as well. So he posted his story and he basically announced it. So he wasn't in top 5 this year like he was last year. So in order to compete the Mr. Olympia this year, he needs to do a pro show and he needs to win it. You can't qualify on points anymore, remember guys. So here you can see what he looks like right now in two different lightings. And he also shares his weight, which is right now... 280 pounds fasted with this conditioning so this is this is a lot guys this is really heavy he is 20 pounds shy of 300 pounds and he is like three four weeks out conditioning like he is really lean he has glute separation he has uh, striation in his in his quads he's overall very very lean especially for this weight now, Hunter Labrada kind of received a lot of criticism over the years. Uh, people are saying that he's getting, uh, he's getting placements based on his name, which I completely disagree with. The other thing would be people are expecting a lot from him, so he definitely has big expectations because of his name as well. And he wasn't at his best at the Mr. Olympia this year, but right now it looks like he's bringing something crazy because look at him. I honestly don't believe Hunter was ever this round, this bubbly, especially with his conditioning. So I'm pretty sure he did not have any time off after the Mr. Olympia. He just went back to the drawing board and he started working hard. And I'm thinking he's going to bring his absolute best this year at Tampa and Texas. And he's going to win, I'm sure. And he's going to go to the Mr. Olympia stage again. So this guy is not over. He's not done like some people are saying. I mean, he definitely wasn't at his best at the Mr. Olympia, but there is still time and room to progress to get better, as he is doing currently. I don't know if he is still coached by, by Ben Chow. They might have parted their ways after that failure at the Mr. Olympia. I mean, that was like their one attempt, and it didn't really work out. So maybe they stopped working. Again, he wasn't tagged in Hunter's post, nor did I hear anything from Ben about Hunter. So I don't know about that. But I know one thing for sure. I mean, look at Hunter right here in this post. He looks absolutely insane. I think it's pretty safe to say better than ever, but we'll see how he peaks when he does the show, when he does the Tampa and Texas. There is still a lot of time left. I'm sure he's gonna get even better, much better. So it's gonna be interesting, definitely. However, Arnold Classic is coming up in a, in a couple of days, and that's gonna be very, very interesting. If you guys wanna watch those videos, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.